What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> ah, that didn't sound right. Welcome back to my channel. I am just going to go straight to the point. This is the first video in this new series that I'm starting. And basically, I'm calling the series Can Entry One Make This? And for this series, I am going to attempt to make things that I find online. So it could be a dress top, um, I don't know, a shoe. <laughs> maybe not but you know nice things that i find online that i feel like a bit challenging if you find something and you want me to try my hands on it and you want me to recreate it definitely shoot me a dm this is my instagram and if it makes sense i will definitely try my hands on it for this very first episode i am going to be attempting to recreate this gorgeous top that i have seen all over the internet like I am obsessed and it is the called Gaia Mala Top and yeah it comes with a $300 price tag so <laughs> if you know you know I deserve to have money <laughs> 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 know, on this channel we discuss affordable options DIY ideas and basically life tips that will help us as a millennials with very good taste be able to afford the life that we actually want to live so yeah if that sounds like you hit the subscribe button and let's get into the video also wish me luck <laughs> so for my version of the mala top i got um fabric of course and this is the fabric i got it is a little bit on the cream side, whereas the mala top, the original mala top, comes in white, pink, and I think a shade of green, not too sure. And then I got some elastic bands. I got the half inch elastic band, and I also got a quarter inch elastic band just so that I could have, you know, options. So it has this voluminous hand, voluminous sleeves like this. And then it snugs you right here in the middle. So I want to believe that there's an elastic band right here, okay? And then probably this goes in a bit and then it comes out like that, forms this straight thing and then there's strings here that allows you to pull up the, the sleeves, I guess. So this is basically what the top is like. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to cut two strips of fabric like that. And then I'll make an incision for the neck and probably try to make an incision right here. And then I'll insert the strings right here and here. And yeah, we'll be done. This is my plan. It's easy to put things on paper, but how will it look in real life? Let's see. I first determined exactly where I wanted the top to sit on my body. It was about 22 inches, so using that measurement, I'm going to cut the very first strip of fabric for the font. I guess this is the length of a two-yard fabric. It is pretty long, long enough to cover my very long arms and that makes me happy so i'm going to do the same for the back also going to cut like a long strip of fabric for the back so that we get into the top i have made my very first mistake <laughs> let me explain <laughs> on the original mala top the there are these lines on the top and they go um you know vertically when i was cutting out my fabric for the back i don't know what's going on in my head but i cut my fabric this way so my lines were going horizontally and um no i you know i'm going to put the pieces back together I've already, um, I cut them this way, so they're like in pieces, so I'm going to just put them back together in the middle right here. So when I do sew this part, this part is now going to be 
straight lines like the original Marla top. So this is, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but I put it together and this is going to be the back so I, I won't like overthink it. Actually, wait, let me look at this top <laughs> one last time. I, th I think I'm on course. I think I am on the right course. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the two fabrics together because in my mind, I strongly believe that this top is just two fabrics put together. So I pin them together and I put them. I put it on and see what it looks like. something listen to me can you see can you can't really see it right now but it's coming it's coming you see the neck thing in the top do you see it and i told you this thing was just two pieces of fabric put together and then right here it cinches like all the way like that you know so it cinches this way <laughs> And this part is the like is the hand. Do you see it? Did I lie? Did I lie? I told you. Lay the top down and I try to find the part that fits me in the middle so that, that's like a top right i don't know if i'm making sense i've done that for this side and i'm going to do the same for this side so right here i just cut it all the way up tall length from my neck to exactly where my novel is and it's a little around um 18 19. once i'm done with all the cutting this is what it looks like this is the neck and this is the crop so i'll go ahead and insert an elastic band right here then i'll fold it in about twice and then it automatically cinch this way right I honestly don't know what I'm doing right now, but I'm going to try it and I will show you how it comes out. Alright, so I have shown the middle section. I just um, cut it out of the main. This is what the fabric looked like from the beginning. It was, it was a long stretch all the way through, right? And then I cut it off and I reduced the length to the actual length where I wanted it to be. And then I folded it in. Now it's going to be a little bit short because I didn't think to include the this folder part in my calculation when I was cutting off the crop. So I guess mine is going to be a little shorter than I would actually want it to be. Yeah, it is what it is. Oh. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so now it is beginning to look a lot like the top i mean i'm not there yet but we are getting there right let me show you what it looks like now this is what it looks like now you can see the little snug in the front and then look at the sleeves so now i have to work on the sleeves and get rid of this awkward shape but this this does not look bad at all. Okay, so for the sleeves, I am still going to go ahead and reduce this because this is way too long. So, now that I've cut the sleeves, I am going to sew them together right here. 
then I will fold it in this way and sew it in and do the same for this side like take this in because this is the last time you will see the top like this can you see me shaking hear the sound of my heart breaking bless the soul that's aching hoping i survive the feeling lingers on every day of every month Wishing I just could forget about you The weight upon my bones makes it harder to move on Oh baby Don't think that i forgive myself for losing you I for losing you Left our love up on those dusty shelves Can't forgive myself for losing you